Barcelona reportedly considering shot approach for Jaden Sancho as they see him as an alternative to Williams, who might be joining Arsenal. £25 million deal for Trevor Chalobah, plus Ericsson and Lindelof heading out of the club. These are some of the topics we will be discussing on this evening's show. But before we get into that, please smash a like on today's video. Let's try and see a thousand likes on this episode. And if this is your first time watching, please do subscribe to the channel. I'm live every single day at 8.30, 1.30 and 6. Everyone is welcome. Make sure you get involved. Right, I'm going to start the show off by talking about Christian Eriksen because the reports coming out from Belgium, uh, Belgium, Belgium in the last couple of minutes is that apparently and Delect have approached Manchester United to sign Christian Eriksen this summer. He's got one year left of his deal. He's on massive wages. We signed Eriksen for nothing as well, remember? We got him for zero fee two years ago from... Uh, who was it from? From no one, because he was a free transfer. He was at Brentford, wasn't he? But apparently Manchester United would be willing to let him go this summer. He understands that he's surplus to requirements. He is now a bench player, 32 years of age. Obviously, still had a good Euros. He still can do it at international level. And I think if he went to a club like Anderlecht, he would still be able to do it. I think, realistically, the Premier League is probably a little bit beyond him now. Uh, I don't think he has the legs to hold down a midfield in the Premier League anymore. So, Eriksen to Anderlecht, one to keep an eye on. Uh, they have approached Manchester United, and it's just whether they can pay the fee that Man United want. Man United are reportedly asking for five to 10 million euros in order to let Ericsson go this summer. So that's one to keep an eye on there. Obviously, I'll bring you all of the news as soon as we get that. Uh, moving over to Victor Lindelof quickly. Apparently, Jose Mourinho is pushing to sign Victor Lindelof. Uh, obviously, he is the new manager of Fenerbahce. Victor Lindelof is now not training with the first team in the LA Tour because apparently Manchester United are keeping him aside as a precaution because they think he is going to leave the club in the coming days. So it looks like Lindelof and Eriksson could be gone very, very soon. Uh, Pellistri as well. Pellistri is apparently heading to the Greek League to join up with Panintiarkos. So that's another deal to keep your eye on. Lots of outgoings happening at the moment, which is really, really positive. And the most important thing about this is it will allow us to go and spend some money on new signings in the next couple of days and weeks which is super super good um but keeping on the topics of outgoings i want to talk a little bit about Jaden sancho this story caught me by surprise but it does make sense when you actually think about it so this is coming out from multiple different spanish outlets in the last half an hour or so it's been reposted by the manchester evening news and a couple of other people and it says that apparently barcelona have approached Manchester United over a potential deal for Jadon Sancho. It says Barcelona are ready to move for Sancho if they don't manage to land Nico Williams. Apparently Arsenal are trying to sign Nico Williams. I thought that Nico Williams was going to Barcelona. I thought the deal was all but done, but this story this evening is effectively saying that it isn't. Interesting. Um, apparently PSG are trying to get Nico Williams as well, and Arsenal are. So... I think a lot of teams probably have Nico Williams as their number one option for that position, the left wing. But they're effectively saying, if we don't get Nico Williams, then um, we will go for Jadon Sancho. The same for Arsenal. They want Nico Williams. I don't think Sancho will go to Arsenal, but obviously we know that PSG uh, are really wanting to sign Sancho as well. So there's effectively at the moment three teams, PSG, Barcelona and Arsenal, all trying to sign the same player. And it's just whether... Whichever one of those clubs that doesn't get him then comes for Jaden Sancho. Price tag wise, I think you're probably going to be looking about £40 million. That's what's being reported this evening. I think that's a completely fair price. I think £40 million for Sancho would be, I think it would be a fair deal for everybody and I'd be happy with that. So yeah, I'll obviously keep you updated on that one. Uh, you can let me know in the comments section how much money do you think Jaden Sancho is worth in the current market? And then the final story I've got for you on this little evening roundup is on Trevor Chalobah. So Ben Jacobs and a couple of other journalists have been talking about Trevor Chalobah this evening. And apparently Manchester United have approached Chelsea over a potential deal for Trevor Chalobah. At the moment, apparently it's just a, a case of them understanding the, the price and the money involved in the deal. And apparently Chelsea have told them that they would accept a minimum of £25 million for Trevor Chalobah. Uh, Chalobah hasn't even gone on the pre-season tour with Chelsea, which is pretty crazy. 25 years of age, obviously come through the Chelsea Youth Academy. It would be 100% profit for Chelsea, which is great. Um, the thing I like about Chalobah is his versatility. He can play as a centre-back, a right-sided centre-back, a right-back, and as a CDM. So he's very versatile. Obviously, he would 
comply with the homegrown quota, which I think is important these days. And it would effectively mean that we could let um, Lindelof go without any worry. We could let Maguire go. We could probably let, you know, another player in that position leave without then being forced into spending £42 million on Delict. You know, it gives us that kind of backup option. And I think for £25 million, I know that's still a hell of a lot of money, but... I think I think he's a good option. I do. And I, I wouldn't mind seeing Trevor Chalabar. Is he somebody that, you know, I'm going to be getting printed on the back of my shirt and singing his name every five minutes? Probably not. But you need players in that squad who can operate in lots of different positions and have that quality. And I think that Tre Trevor Chalabar does have that quality um, as kind of a backup. You know, I don't want him starting every game for Manchester United. But, you know, it is a squad game at the end of the day. You do need options. You do need that ability to be able to rotate. And I think someone like Tra Chava Chalaba gives us that option. So yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to seeing Tra Chalaba in a Man United shirt, to be honest. But um, I'd be interested to see what you all think. Like, what do you think of Chalaba? Do you think he's good enough for Manchester United? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And then the final story I've got for you quickly is on Jared Branthwaite. Um, apparently Man United are now considering going back in for a third bid for Jared Branthwaite. How do we all feel about that? I would still like to see Branthwaite at Manchester United. I think he'd be a quality uh, addition to the squad. Again, I like his versatility. And I think if we could get him for maybe just under 50 million, I think it would be a good deal. Obviously, Manchester United had a bid rejected of 45 two weeks ago, I think it was. And apparently now they're putting together a third bid. I reckon it's going to be 50 million plus add-ons. Whether or not that will be enough to get Everton to sell him, I don't know. Uh, apparently they want 65, 70 million. So we're still quite a long way away from, you know, agreeing a fee that's going to be happy for everybody. But I'm hopeful that this one happens. I think he'd be a really, really good signing. And I could, he kind of feels like an Ineos type signing, like a Dan Ashworth type deal. But yeah, obviously I'll keep you updated on that one as and when we get more news on that. But um, I'm going to wrap the video up here, guys. It was just a quick one to bring you the evening roundup. Please make sure to smash a like before you leave. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. This has been Daily Red Devil. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll speak to you all on the next one. Bye for now.